to entrepreneurship, people first, logistics, owner, founder, all that good stuff, man. Phil. Today we out here, it's a blizzardy day, but yeah, we gonna get straight into it, man. Today's video, I'ma detail how much money I made with Amazon DSP. Stay tuned to see the exact amount I made. I'ma go through the invoice of how much I made with Amazon DSP. See how much money I made running 136 route, not working on two days on Christmas week. I'ma give you the full detail breakdown, but you gotta follow me and get more on it. Let's get into it though. <laughs> Make sure you join the People First community. It's down there below. I got, you get a chance to buy a course. You get a book of meeting with me. You get some mentorship. You can file an LLC. You can get business funding in the community. Make sure you join that community. It's the only link down below in the bio, but you can get mentorship courses, all that good stuff. You can DM me personally in the community. It's, we done made some major upgrades to it. So go back and check that out. How much money I made in one week with Amazon. Now this ain't all profit. I still got bills to pay but i'm gonna give you a sense of how much we do every week with two days off this was just christmas week peak week so let's get into it my team over there loading out but i got such a good team jacob and them i don't gotta do that i just come out here to stay active stay in motion get out the house get active i don't care what day it is dsp is a delivery service provider delivery service provider what most companies big companies amazon target walmart blue whatever company you think of doesn't actually hire drivers some of them do walmart got some dedicated drivers and stuff um when i used to work with amazon we tried to hire our own delivery drivers but that program didn't work out quick they scrapped it quick it was crazy we was hiring direct employees to drive the vans but it wasn't and the Amazon ain't had an infrastructure. This sleet coming in my eyes, it's going crazy. Nah, not right now. Amazon is a company that change fast. Most people don't change. Amazon make a new change like every day. Most people, this is for people like in life, if they life ain't going right, they still don't change anything. You gotta do constant changes in your life to get to new levels each and every day. It's freezing out here, but we getting it in though. So let's break it down. This is what happens with Amazon DSP. These vans right here, you get the van, okay. I started with five of these. So how Amazon pays you is, if they got 10 hour route. So they pay you for your driver, 10 hours routes. So whatever the rate is, $30 an hour, whatever the rate is in your contract. Amazon pays you per hour. So if the routes are 10 hour, Amazon pays you per hour that the routes that they route you. It could be eight hour routes, 10 hour routes. So then until you have your driver in your company that you have to hire, and you have to pay them $19.75 or whatever your standard rate is. So Amazon pays you per the hour, then you have to pay your driver per the hour. That's one way to get paid. The next way is per package piece. Each route is 300 or so packages. You get paid for every package delivered. That's the other way to get paid by Amazon. Then they got a bonus structure, you know what I'm saying? Where if you hit the metrics and do all this good stuff right and you driving safe and making it happen, a uh, bonus. So that's pretty much how it goes. Each day, you know, we driving probably 30. So 30 of these go out a day. That means I'm getting paid 30 times 10. What's that? 300? 300 hours I'm billing Amazon and I'm paying for 300 hours of label. Once you subtract the, the spread, that's the amount I take home every day. So you gotta do it like that. I don't know. I don't know all the business terms. I know business. I know how to read P&Ls. I got accountants and stuff. Don't, I'm not a technical person, but I know how to read these charts and these numbers and these graphs. I'm not the teacher. I'm not trying to get y'all no financial lecture. I'm just letting y'all know what it is. You get the pay, but yeah, if I know how to have those meetings with my accountants and go over financial statements, P&Ls, net income, revenue. I know how to talk all that talk, but that ain't the talk. You know what I mean? I know it though. But yeah, we just giving y'all the general Amazon DSP getting paid. Got to keep these. When these are down though, you're not getting paid. You got to have a fleet manager maintenance. Keep turning them over. Hiring. It's constant pieces that go to it. It's a big arm business. You're pretty much running a big business if you got a DSP. You're responsible for operation, hiring, HR, payroll, fleet maintenance. So you spreading yourself thin in different departments. It's not like you have to learn one thing. You got to learn like five different things. And that's why business is tough because as an entrepreneur, they don't tell you. You got to know how to do accounting, HR, payroll, hiring, everything. 
Yeah, they don't tell you this stuff when you sign up for entrepreneur. You got to figure it out yourself. But Amazon has good resources and partners where they lead you to the right direction, the kind of right lawyers, accountants, and different people to work with to make your team successful. So shout out to Amazon for always being a great business partner, always being there to lean on and helping me out um, when you need resources. But still, even working with Amazon, it's still a big learning curve. Look how active it is over there, man. They pumping volume seven days a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We only off four days a week with Amazon DSP. But they're a good partner though, man. But in business though, I'd rather go into business with, with the big dogs than the, you know what I'm saying? Starting it from the ground up, they help you out. It's still a challenge every day, but you know, it's only making me bigger, better, and stronger. Anything that challenges you makes you bigger, better, and stronger. Just remember that. Even if it seems like you're losing, you're not really losing. You're just getting challenged. That's all. They want to see if you're going to quit or not on a challenge. That's how I go. Look at my boy Sam over there. Yeah, they're my trucks dispatching, so we got the big trucks hold more packages and that leads to more money though because you got to pay them more they got to get dot certified they all getting out of there on time dispatch let me see what time it is if we got out on time yep they right on time so yeah they getting up out of there making it happen shout out to my team david everybody in there david nicole joe jacob everybody getting them jobs out on time they got another ding on the top up there skinny they skinny i bet they cost so much money this is the week of christmas december 24th through the 30th, we didn't even work two days. 136 route, paid me 43K, no cap. That's how I go. And then let's see the extra training sessions. I had 12 new people join my team and go to training. I got paid that much. I had two light cancellations from my team, so they got minus 100. Then we delivered 32K thousand packages and Amazon gave us a per package bonus of 3,299 totaling up to 49,000 and you got to think Christmas week we didn't work two days the 25th and the 26th so that's two minus two days of pay so it would have been bigger that's just how I go with Amazon DSP now that's ain't all profit I still got bills to pay insurance workers comp health insurance payroll a few different things to pay but that's just kind of how I go you know when you're doing business so that's just a, a, a week one week out of the year week 52 invoice Bigger, smaller, it's how I go. It's business, up or down. So that's just how I go. Making it happen, Amazon DSP. If you like this video, check out these other videos right here, man. Ain't no cap in these wraps. Next time I'll show you how much I make per day. One day we'll do that video. But until then, check out this video up here. And we gone, man. <laughs> you like that. In the winter, we in nature still. You can't get down over here. Still on a good day. Go to clear your mind outside, whatever. It's the element. They say a bad snowstorm coming to, to Buffalo today. I don't know. It's been crazy, crazy out, though. We'll let you know how the snowstorm goes. Nah, I keep going. That's sand? Ah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> hey, we out here, man. Rain, sleet, snow, sunny. This look like a movie scene. Look at them movie right there. We have fun too. It ain't all about the DSP. You gotta live your life too. No, Definitely I'm not putting my feet in the water. I put my feet. Grass, it's rocks on this beach. My hook do good in it. I just got hit in the eye with a piece of ice. That looks so dirty. Look. Is this the beach before the beach? Nah, that's wild. <laughs> I just got hit in the eye, but so much ice. But now nah, we good, man. Get out and enjoy nature. Get out. Storm coming. We still out here. We gonna update you tomorrow and let you see how bad the blizzard really come in. If it do come in, we gonna. What time the game come on tomorrow? Now I'm talking about if the blizzard hit, we can just go outside and see how the snow is. I'm still grateful. This is amazing. Look how nature is amazing. Like look how that water like flowing off of that right there. You see how it's coming right here? That shit look. It's so cold out here. It ain't even cold, it's just the wind blowing and making me cry. It's so windy. I just got hit in the eye by like 80 pieces of ice. That's a 360 spin shot. That was a 360 spin shot. Whoa! We going to squeeze on Elmwood? We don't even got time to drive to Williamsville. You know you make me drive 100 miles a day? We gotta start back doing cardio. We could run in this though, a mile? We could run a sprinty mile. We made it, I'm tired. Yeah, I don't wanna waste your time, but yeah. And it's not like no free type schedule, it's like, Four, four shifts. You can do part time, but like, it's gonna be take up eight to eight to ten hours a day usually. Now my company delivery, but you can hire. You gotta work for Am like Amazon might hire you to work in the warehouses. That's what you wanna do. But you gotta apply for them on Amazon. Yeah, we the drivers. The warehouse people is in the inside. That's Amazon. The drivers aren't on the outside. They ain't Amazon. But it's other companies you can. I might can see, but I just don't. I don't know. We'll look at it though. Uh, you going to the gym today? See, I feel like I'm gonna cut you. No, I guess what we're doing.
Ooh, that was good. That's a sharp knife. You killed SpongeBob's house. That was a clean slice, though. First one shot. That might be playing in Judy's in a few days if you if we make it to there. You think you're gonna make it? Judy's TV. We, that's our. Can we get our videos played on Judy's TV? If you hear this, Judy, we need a sponsorship.